It's gonna make me keep zoning and trying to figure out what it is, aren't you? Do I have any of my other side quests anymore, even? Nope. I just want to make sure I'm not like completely missing it. I don't see it marked on the map. All right, let me look around for it. Well, well, well. What the hell? Hey, it's you. I know you from somewhere, don't I? I'm your secretary, sir. Or at least I was. Now I'm the man who's about to destroy the Earth. Uh, what'd you say? Sorry. I have this habit of zoning out when you talk. I said I'm about to destroy the. Oh, never mind. Never mind about destroying the Earth? Oh, great! Hey, guess what, guys? I got him to promise not to destroy the Earth anymore! You're the dumbest man on this planet. You and that sorry excuse for a president. You both just strumble about while everyone else, me, does all the work for you. Hey, now. That really hurts my feelings. Mm -hmm. It is kind of the truth. Oh, I know it's the truth. I just don't like hearing it. Yes! At least your heart is in the right place. You care about other people. A true leader always thinks of their people first. Or at least pretty darn near the top of the list. <laughs> the only reason you were elected is you looked the part. I was the brains behind it all. You and that other buffoon were just showpieces. Uh-uh. I thought you were bad, but this guy's got a screw loose. And those aliens you took care of for me were the only obstacle in my path. Hey, how do you know my alien friends? Whom do you think manipulated them into plunging the world into chaos? I convinced them their monstrosities would make us happy, and they acted right according to my plans. And now their technology is all mine. <laughs> See, guys? I told you I never lied to the aliens. I guess it was this dweeb all along. Oh, shucks. We're screwed. Yeah, we're definitely in a pickle. Hats off to you, my boy. That was a pretty solid plan. Bravo. Huh? Seriously? I'm just saying, things really fell into place for him. <laughs> You're a fool to the end. I like the pictures of himself on the arms. Oh, shucks. I can't believe he never suspected him. Well, it's not like he casually mentioned his plans for world domination around the water cooler. I don't know. Maybe he did and I wasn't listening. Anything's possible. He's really, really boring. Uh-uh. Well, he's got our attention now. I know, right? Makes you wish we'd paid more attention earlier. Oh, well. There'll be time for wishing and worrying later. Right now, we need to stop him and save the town. Confront your secretary. Oh, okay. <laughs> I guess the geeks will inherit the earth. All right, where is you? Where where is you at, you nerd? Ah, there he is. So I wonder if this is going to be the final fight. Get the hell out of here! Uh, shit. System save. All right. Let's go beat up this nerd. Now I finally get to beat the nerds up. Oh, hello. Must you always get in my way? I'm tired of people stomping on my dreams. It's not fair. Stomping on your dreams? You're stomping on my town. I had big dreams once, you know. Big dreams. You think my life's ambition was to be a secretary? Um, yes. Uh, no. I'm sorry. I'm bad with these. Was that a rhetorical question? It's easy for you breezing through life with your good looks and your charm. You don't know what it's like for the rest of us. Just ask your brother. Hey! Whoa, okay. I know my brother's cup isn't quite flowing over, but that's pretty harsh dropping him down to your level, don't you think? I'm tired of living in the shadow of men like you. You're the monster here, and I can't take it anymore! Huh. <laughs> don't I should have upped the difficulty me. before this. Because this is probably gonna be a complete another ass whooping. Probably. I've got your back, bro. Yep. <laughs> Unless he's got like a well second done, phase. Team. Wow, thousand XP. Nice. Rubber band ball for secretary. Uh, hey, wait a minute. Be happy. You won't let me be victorious. At least have mercy and finish me off. I already told you. A true leader thinks of his people first, and that includes you. 
You don't get it. We can't stop this machine. It feeds on anger and unhappiness. We've seen a lot of that in the world lately. It will just keep consuming until there's nothing left. So everything's been a waste? This was all for nothing? Oh, shucks. We're doomed. Oh. Goodbye, cruel world. No. Not after everything we've been through. We can't give up. Step aside, ladies, gentlemen, and presidential secretaries. It's time for me to do the fighting for once. Oh. Ha! Deliver an award-winning smile. Ooh, ouch. <laughs> you didn't level up at all during this time? Ouch! <laughs> This is a lot harder than you guys. guys made oh. look. We have to put up with that every time we fight. <laughs> I told you it's hopeless. The planet's doomed. It was a pleasure traveling the world with you, brother. If we are about to die, well, I'm glad that you and I can do it at each other's side. He's right. I love you both. You made your mother so proud and so happy. I'm so happy to hear that, you guys. Huh? Your family's positive feelings are actually weakening the device. Keep it up, everyone. Think happy thoughts. I'm going back in for more. <laughs> Jesus. Use the power of love to help this us defeat this. Celebration. <laughs> nice. That's pretty amusing. Now to abuse the yogas of our hope. Everyone deserves to dream. Go. Aww. He's fighting with the power of the love of his family. Your ability to bring people together is exactly why you're fit to be a leader. I know you can do this. It was because of you that I shared my baked goods with the world. Big Bursa and I are cheering for you. I have a confession. I've been drinking decaf since I joined you guys. You give me so much energy, I don't even need caffeine anymore. You got this one, dude. And afterwards, we'll throw back some soda and burp the alphabet. Everything I'd learned came from books until I met you. You taught me courage and leadership firsthand. You protected and served as well as anyone on the force, sir. We're all in your debt. Everyone is behind you 100%. I'm, of course, behind you 110%, but that's just because I'm your biggest fan. You're like a pipsqueak who rose from the ashes and turned into a muscular butterfly. Now show him why we prank! <laughs> what? <laughs> this calls for a celebration. Hell yeah. <laughs> Level me up with your positive expressions. I, I have to use hope again. I didn't get any new abilities. I wonder if it's only going to have people that I unlocked. The ticket and you ran with me as your running mate, we would have won by an even larger margin. Go get him, Tiger! You're the first person to ever talk to me, let alone help me out. I'd follow you anywhere. You're my best friend, homeless guy. Things may seem bad, but towns can be rebuilt. It's our lives and our relationships that are truly worth protecting. You don't fix what ain't broken. You, sir, are a true hero. I wouldn't change a thing. Yeah, I wonder if so it's only going to show the heroes I unlock, which is, if that's the case, that's pretty cool. Or townspeople, whatever. This calls for a celebration. <laughs> and if you haven't unlocked enough, you just can't win. The game over. You get the bad ending. It's not even... There he goes. Damn. He still got a lot of hit points. You totally restored our way of life, man. That's huge. We're behind you all the way. My paintings are full of happy little trees and happy little bushes. You've helped me see that the world around us is happy as well. You surpassed all my expectations. I love it when one of my prized specimens manages to surprise me. <laughs> We're pot committed on this one. Luckily, I'd go all in on you any day. Whoa, of the whoa, week. whoa, hey, hey, uh, just relax. Positive, non sexual feelings, please. After you win, we'll drive off into the sunset together like old times. Or for the first time, I guess. Take a deep breath, focus. There's no way you can lose now. Don't let negativity control your life. You're a strong, confident vice president. 
And gosh darn it, people like you. <laughs> oh, Jesus. This calls for a celebration. Stop attacking me with your unbridled rage. Thanks for helping us, mister. No other grown-up was willing to risk their lives to save us like you did. You're about to earn your Save the World Merit Badge. I'm so proud of you. I would say there's a 100% chance of victory with a little extra sunshine in our hearts. I can see the headline now. VP saves the Earth. We all believe in you, sir. That's my girl, the photographer. You spend so much and the exterminator. exterminating that it's good to have role models like you teaching the value of saving lives. You're a real gentleman, and that's rare these days. I'm proud to have traveled the world with you. Oh, I love you in the mud all over your overalls. God, I hope that's mud. Yeah, so far it's only been heroes I've un or people I've unlocked, towns or whatever. Calls for a celebration. Go! Yeah, getting there slowly. When this is over, we'll have a party and get lost in the voodoo! God damn it. You may be in the danger zone, sir, but I've seen you come back from much worse. You're a real hotshot. You're a lifeguard of the land and sea. You deserve more mouth to mouth, you tiny little savior. It has been a pleasure serving you. You always kept our spirits high. There are plenty of fish in the sea, but there's only one planet. If you wish to save it, you must find the small pleasures in life. The world is a lush and vibrant place, always worth fighting for. When it's all over, we're gonna jam again, you and I. We like kindred souls. All those people I barely used. This calls for a celebration. Charge! Damn. You like that, huh? Getting wrecked, misery machine. We believe in you. You make us so happy. You want all our things to be like. You're the only one who ever believed in me. Well, I believe in you too, sir. Don't you worry. Red, blue, yellow, green, save the day and stop the machine! I hope the commander's okay. She was nice. This calls for us. Go! Damn, those two alone did a ton of damage. You did it! I knew you had it in you! I'm sorry. I can't believe I almost destroyed the Earth. Hey now, let's turn that frown upside down, shall we? This is a banner day, my boy. After all, saving the Earth, I basically secured my re-election. <laughs> the robot's like, wait, what the hell's going on? Citizens of Earth and me. All right, well. I actually was not expecting to beat the game tonight, uh, but I was closer than I thought to finishing it. So, this is where I typically talk about what I thought about the game overall, give it a mini review, etc. Wow. Um, starting off, I loved the game. I loved it. I really enjoyed it. I've been interested in this since the Kickstarter. Uh, I was disappointed to see it fail, and then Atlas picked it up, and I was like, oh, yes, it's going to get made anyway. I was really glad about it. Playing it, I enjoyed it. I enjoyed, you know, recruiting the the citizens, the variety of, of uh, abilities they had, so you can mix and match and kind of get some synergy going, that kind of thing. Uh, the artwork style I like, the music, you know, it was just kind of a goofy type of game. As somebody who's never played Earthbound, I know, I know, blah, 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 never played Earthbound. How terrible. I like. I really like the the style. I mean, if you don't like the style, obviously you're not gonna like the game. But I I like all kinds of styles, and this one was was a good one. Again, I like the. I really like the art style in general, the voice acting when it was all there, and the writing was relatively funny. I mean, there was you know a good few chuckles here. It wasn't you know that it wasn't great, 
you know, it wasn't, you know, on the lines of older uh, adventure games like Grim Fandango and stuff, but it was still, you know, relatively funny here and there. Uh, it was, you know, just good, lighthearted stuff. However, near closer to the end of the game, things started to get pretty damn tedious and repetitive. At first, I didn't mind the fighting just because it was, it was somewhat varied enough during the fights you know i was changing it up a little bit just because of how much energy i had or i'd swap out party members just to mix it up so it wasn't getting too repetitive however a few things happened which really 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 dragged down my opinion of this game hard one the game like it feels like they thought that they needed to drag the game out more. They, they feel like they, they thought the game needed to be longer. So there was a lot of running back and forth to turn in quests like, oh, you need to go do this, and you have to run way over here, do the quest, and run all the way back when it was really not necessary. Like, going back to the agents to turn stuff back in. Just really boring, like, things like that. On top of that, you have a quick travel system that, for almost half the locations, if not half of them, don't take you where you want to go. For example, the uh, the the house I forget the like the um, the pillared area, the sugar flat sugar flats. It takes you to a place where there's like a couple of items, you but you can't get to the sugar flats proper because it's all blocked off. You, so you have to zone somewhere else to get there. That's insanely stupid. Why on earth would you do that other than to waste players' time? Like that's awful. That's a terrible way to add play a uh, gameplay time to your game, and it's just frustrating as hell. Like, the point of having quick travel is so you can get around areas faster. Um, that combined with just... Uh, uh, the areas just started to be designed in such a way where it was obviously set up to be... Just take you as long as possible. Secretary of Recruitment returned to him. Uh, we're not going to bother with that. I'm pretty sure... What does this say here? Yeah, we finished all the main story quests. I'm not gonna bother going to him. I probably can actually recruit him now, but I'm not gonna. But, um, but yeah, I'm gonna kind of just finish up. But while I'm here, it's kind of cool that you can keep playing though. I do like that because I was kind of saying it'd be nice to keep playing. But, um, but it, the the design of the level started to be obviously just to to drag it out. Like for example, that last area. I don't think I showed it, but it was basically a giant spiral where you had to go like the place you really needed to go was just to the right of where you started but of course they laid everything out so you had to go to the far left and then go to the bottom then go to the far right and then go up and then go left and then go up and go where you actually wanted to go it was just uh it's just like they just and that happened over and over the spaceship level alone made me want to punch a baby like that was the most Honestly, that was some of the most boring, frustrating things I've ever done in a video game. And that's saying a lot, because <laughs> I've played games for a very long time. And I, I was getting so pissed off and bored and frustrated just trying to find it. Because you have to find three different, basically, switches to pull. And you're trying to find it in this huge maze of a spaceship every time you zone or take a teleporter the enemies respawn and they've jam-packed enemies in there and the thing is there's no challenge there's absolutely none i just left click as fast as i could to go through them it was just insanely tedious and boring and i just the second second quarter second 40% of the game, somewhere in there, just really dragged down my opinion of this game. Like, I, it was such a shame, too, because I was like, man, I really liked a lot about this game. And I saw a lot of negative reviews, and I'm like, why are people complaining about this game? I think it's great. But, man, later on, it's just, it feels like this game should have ended around chapter, f like, four and a half. Like, around four and a half, it feels like the game was, it was starting to get wrapped up. Uh, but it feels like it just ended up just dragging out. Maybe they wanted to give you more opportunity to use your more of your your townspeople and parties. I don't know, but it just made the game 
really, really drag on. I mean, if you are into like really just getting into the game and just very, very casually progressing and you're okay with doing like having to fight the same enemies over and over and over again. Uh, like I know a lot of JPRPG type fans are fine with that kind of thing because that's you know kind of what that's about partially, then it probably won't bother you as much. Uh, but it just got so insanely tedious for me. It doesn't help that I did use the Yoga Master's ability, which is obviously broken as hell. The the one that will allow you to, your characters to drop levels and get stat points. That is obviously all kinds of broken. Uh, you know, you just need like one or two people that can just carry the whole party. I could have just made brother, did that with his brother, with brother, and I would have just beat the game just with him easily. No problem. Even on like two times difficulty would have been a joke. Uh, but overall, whew, on a scale of 1 to 10, where 10 is a perfect game which doesn't exist, and 5 is a game that's equally good, equally bad, I gotta say, all, uh, my off-the-cuff rating would be about a 5. Because this game started off so strong, and I really enjoyed it to begin with. I really liked it. and But the ending was just so frustrating i cannot possibly put into words how frustrated and bored i got with the game at the near the end like i was just wanting the game to end it's normal for me to want a game to end even if i'm enjoying it after i've been playing it for a long time just because i want it to wrap up i want it to conclude not because i've stopped enjoying it like with dark souls very long game, but by the time it was ending, I was like, okay, I'm about ready for this game to end, but I still loved it. This game, I wanted to end because I was just sick to death of playing it and jumping through the hoops of, oh, to do this, you have to do, to to get from A to B, you have to do steps one, two, three, four, and five, and then run all the way around these maps and find the one area that you can get through and fend off all these random encounters all at the same time. It just got so, so, so boring. Um, as far as the price, it's really hard to recommend to buy this game, to be honest with you. Um, and it, it kills me to say that. Because I was so hyped for this game. I was hyped for the Kickstarter. I was pimping this game on Twitter like all the time during the Kickstarter and before it came out. I was like, man, this looks cool. Nobody's talking about it. But it's again, unless your your tolerance is is high for the kind of things that I talked about earlier, like the repetitiveness and knowing ahead of time that the game's gonna drag you the longest possible route to get from A to B, and you're okay with that, then yes, I think the full price this game is 15 bucks. Given how long the game is, I think $15 is, is crazy, uh, is a crazy good deal. But the last last part of the game was just, just so bad. And there's a lot of other little things that were annoying. The interface is pretty bad. Uh, it's obviously designed with like handhelds and phones and crap in mind. It's like the battle interface is way too big. Uh, there's way too much valuable information, but uh, yeah, just not being, or valuable space not being properly used. But I mean, there's a whole lot of nitpicky stuff that I could go into, but long story short, yeah, uh, about a five, maybe a 5.5. .5. That's even pushing it though. Um, Cause I mean, like I said, it was like the last 40 to 30% of the game that was that frustrating, but it was so boring, so frustrating, so maddening that it it tarnished the entire game for me that's how bad it was uh so anyway yeah hopefully you guys however have enjoyed the let's play those of you who stuck with it uh make sure to leave comments in the comment section below let me know what you think of the series follow me on twitter and i'll see you next time